Hey guys, and welcome back to Regrexit. Brexit England, Northern Ireland and Eastern Europe. And in Brexit England, it was budget day yesterday. And guess who are the people who are saying, way hey, and the people who are saying, what the hell was all that about? Well, it seems that the rich once again Right, was given a massive boost within their pensions, of course, because you know, obviously, the, you know, the rich people in the budgets always help, right? And you know, the 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 um the, for the working classes, they got something about beer and um, childcare, but the childcare thing is not too bad because obviously, you know, that's it was a good start, right? It was a place to really be starting because you know you've got this massive workforce of wi of women of an untapped resource, right? Of women who can't afford to get to 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 um go to work because the childcare costs too much. I, mean, you know, I heard about one woman yesterday who was paying um, £1,200 a month, right? And if it's just like, oh, wow, it's a lot of money. But so if they've got like 10 children in there, right, that's £12,000 a month they're, they're putting on 10 children. You think, well, how the hell can't they make that work? But when you think about that, when you, if you think about it logically, right, because now that what they've done is they've moved it from... Um, ratio of one to four to one to five so if we work let's just work on the one to five one to five figures because if we work on one to four figures that would be you'd need three members of staff to look after two children right but now they've made it so you need um you can do it with um with um with two members of staff to look after 10 children, ratio of one to five, right? So if you break those figures down now, 1,200 pounds, 12, um, 12, pounds, okay, okay, so if we just say on two two workers, you've probably got more workers, in, but if we say just two workers, on two workers now you're looking at, um, say we, we probably 1,700 pounds each a month, okay? So that takes you down to, that, that takes your 12,000 pounds down to what, 8,000 something, right? So, right, now if you take off, um, your utilities, right? The utilities is probably going to cost, especially what we're going through now, probably, remember, gas, electric, water, and um, council tax. So you'll probably be looking at 3,500, probably, probably be more than that, to be honest. Let's say 3,500. So that takes you down to, what, 5,000, right? So now, if you take off your rent, your rent, but to rent a building where you're going to be able to keep children safely, it's probably going to cost you about two and a half grand. If you're lucky, you know, you might have like, you know, a school, uh, you know, you might you might be able to get like a school building or something like that, you know, or, you know, a church if you're lucky. But most people are saying, if we say £2,500, which is probably going to be quite cheap, right? But that now that takes you down to what? to 2500 and still you haven't had any utilities for the children that are going to be using your facility at the moment you right so now if you if you break that down again say if we say 700 a month to look after the actual children itself foods taking them out and you know all, all sorts of different things they need the toys books whatever right so that that, that takes you down to what, under two under just under two thousand pounds right and you haven't even taken off any provisions for the owner of this premises yet <laughs> so you know so you know we just say your fuel alone right? your fuel cost alone getting you from your house to where you're and remember your wages as the as the owner hasn't come out of that yet so that's how easy it is to break down those figures where someone says you are paying twelve thousand pounds a month that's how easy it is, right? To see how easily they can be able to say, well, you know, and imagine how much people in this country have got the capacity to pay twelve hundred pounds a month. You know, they've said, well, they've got to give thirty three hours, but a lot of the nurseries have come forward and said already, listen, you know what? Where are you gonna find extra capacity? Because we've already got an eighteen month wait. So by the time you've finished, you're done waiting, right? Your child's already gonna be at junior at, at primary school. <laughs> Sorry, infant school. <laughs> Jack can be, right? So you know, it was a good, it was a good idea. You know, if these people had any clue, what they would do is they would have set up, you know, um, council-run nurseries so that they could tap into that untapped market, right? Where 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 women could just say, you know what, um, I could just take my child from naught to um to um five years old straight to the the, the nursery that's just around the corner, which is a council nursery. But these people have no real sense and they have no clue what the hell they're doing. And welcome back to By Any Means Necessary. Thank you so much for all your messages. And a special thanks to everybody who signed up to my channel. I feel so blessed with so much people that have signed up. So thank you so much for that. I'll go through all your messages. I'll answer as many as I can. But I will like all your messages for definite. And you want to be in my gang, my gang, my gang. You want to be in my gang? No. <sighs> Gary Glitter's back in prison where his ass should be.
because he's stupid, right? You know, Gary Glitter, right? You know, apparently he was, you know, well, well, he was, he was on video, right? Um, so you see him um, on the internet on a smartphone, right? And I don't know whether he he was probably just to be honest, he was probably just messing about, right? But obviously someone's filmed him, and see the thing with the court, yeah, the court does not have a sense of humour, justice. It has no sense of humour at all, right? So he could go in there and say, listen, I was only messing about. I mean, it's just like, you know, I was just messing about. Obviously, I wouldn't be right, on, you know, really going on the dark web because no one goes on the dark web for no reason. And when you're talking about, oh, you know, I'm, I should, should I use the onion? That's a term used for the dark web, right? And, you know, one of the newspapers has obviously just set him up and now his ass is back in prison. But now we just have to skip over to America quickly because Ron DeSantis has been joking about sending 50 migrants off to uh, Martha's Vineyard. And this man's just laughing and joking about it. And think, well, you know something, which is a criminal offence because if you took 50 migrants right, and went to, um, and took them to any part, different part of America or Britain, right, if you'd done that, you'd be in prison for trafficking. Right. That's what they would do to you. They'll just grab hold of you, put you straight in prison for trafficking. But for, for some reason, Mr. Kinky Boots right, is allowed to get away with this type of shit. And, you know, the US, staying in the US, deregulation is the thing that has led to um, the collapse of, obviously, in the Silicon Valley Bank. Just like deregulation is the thing that led to the train crash. But obviously, the, the Republicans are playing it completely different. They're playing it as to say, it's all the fault of the Democrats. <laughs> Two point in Republicans yeah, in Ohio have been charged with racketeering RICO offences because these two was caught, right, gerrymandering in elections. Again, right, every single time someone like this gets caught out, it's always the Republicans, right? And you know, they're always pointing the other side and saying, they're cheating, they're cheating, but every single time it's a Republican that gets caught out doing this type of shit. Women are having abortions in the UK due to the cost of living crisis because they can't make the figures work. So it's like, you know what? So they're having abortions. And think, is that the state of this country? Yes, it is the state of this country. But the state of this country is warm banks, more food banks than McDonald's and more strikes than Swan Vestas, state of Great Britain. A woman has been jailed for eight years for falsely accusing she was raped by a gang of Muslims. And this woman's got some real psychological problems and some real racial issues. Because, you know, and then, you know, the, the way she done it, Tommy Robinson actually turned up there. And obviously, you know, when Tommy Robinson goes somewhere, you know, he takes the EDL with him. And, you know, those guys are a big bunch of racists. And this girl, you know, went as far as, you know, having Tommy Robinson come up there and cause real division within the town. And let's talk about some Brexit and we'll still talk about China. Because China have mocked the UK over its Arcos deal calling the UK a declining nation after Brexit. I say, you know something, right? If it wasn't for their food being so damn nice, right, I would have a lot to say to the Chinese. Now, these people are, you know what, what, what their problem is? Their problem is, yeah, that China's going around the world and they're buying up a load of shit and they're not doing it by, by doing it with guns, right, and bullets and bombs like these motherfuckers went and done. And that's what's really pissing them off, right? So now they were saying, well, you know, we, we want to have these, you know, our subs so they can go and like, you know, go go and, and um around the, the South China Sea. You know and China have said to these people, look, Britain, America and Australia, you are going down the wrong path. It's like these people are want to deliberately antagonise China into a war. You know, and it's like, you know, all these years, right, that these people was, was with Putin and having Putin over here, with, you know, and, and going to America and all these things, right, they should have done, brought Putin into NATO from a long time ago, right? They should have brought him into NATO. And right now we wouldn't be having these problems. But for some reason, no, they, they don't want to live like that. They'd prefer to be winding up people like China. To, so, so China now have to start shoring up their defences, Right? And then openly showing the world, well, we're showing up our defences. We're saying, well, we're showing up our defences. And then what do you get after after people start doing that shit? There's only one. There's only one outcome because now, now you know these people have to fight. Remember when you was at school and the two, and the two biggest boys in the school had to had squared up, and then they left themselves no option. They had to fight it out. This is what these guys. This is what these guys are leading us to. And 
yesterday from yesterday's budget. Tax on bear frozen as part of Jeremy Hunt's Brexit pubs guarantee. And you say, well, that is brilliant. You know, this man has targeted something, right? You know, he's targeted one issue and, you know, so the publicans must be over the moon. Jeremy Hunt's Brexit pubs guarantee is massively disappointing and won't help, says pub landlords. Oh, so, and then you say, who do you believe out of those two people? Do you believe the huntsman or do you believe the pub landlords? I believe the pub landlords. My friends, I have to bow out of here because I'm just about to come a minute over. This, my friends, is by any means necessary. I'm VMC John Ribs. It was really nice to speak to you guys. Comments below.